Hello folks, this is Arpan Ajha from InspiredRise.com and today we are going to talk about the Oppo A12 smartphone. So guys, let's first start with the unboxing for the Oppo A12. This is the latest budget smartphone from Oppo and inside the box you get the TP cover, the documentation, along with it you get the SIM tray removal pin for the smartphone. This smartphone comes with a pre-applied screen protector and it definitely looks like a realme smartphone from the past. Has a matte finish at the back. Inside you get the charging module for this one which is a normal charging module, not really fast one. And a micro USB cable. There are no earphones present on the inside. On the right hand side there is the power button for the smartphone. At the back there is the dual camera module along with the fingerprint sensor and the Oppo branding. On the left hand side there is the volume rocker for this one along with the SIM tray slot which houses dual SIM along with a dedicated micro SD card slot. At the bottom there is the 3.5mm jack, micro USB port and the speaker grill. And overall I felt that the build and design for this phone is good. It does not get smudges, fingerprints or scratches easily so that's also a positive point for the smartphone. If you talk about the display on this one, it's an HD plus panel with a slightly bigger chin at the bottom. The display is a 6.22 inch display with 720p resolution Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection and overall I felt that the colors etc were good enough considering the price for this one. And it has a normal dated notch style design and this design is not used anymore by a lot of manufacturers. It has a Helio P35 chipset on the inside which is one of the weak points for the smartphone. It has a 32GB or 64GB internal storage which is an EMMC storage not really that fast. 3GB or 4GB of RAM and if you're somebody who's going to game a lot on the smartphone you will be slightly disappointed because you will only be able to play games on lower frame rate settings and lower settings and if you play games for a long period of time the smartphone does not heat up that much so that's one of the good things about this one but if you are really going to seriously play games on this one i won't recommend the smartphone at all to you now if i talk about other things like the overall feel and handiness i felt that this was a handy smartphone it does not weigh a lot at around 165 grams it's a decent smartphone in terms of ease of usage the back camera is a 13 megapixel one and there's a 5 megapixel front camera images taken from this smartphone were good enough and i felt that almost all of the normal photos were good enough to be used low light performance wasn't that great and there was no stabilization in the 1080p video that you take from the back as well as the front camera if i talk about the ui it comes with color os and color os does have some bloatware pre-installed there is some ads etc coming in the notification panel via some applications which can be disabled it's not a big deal so that's one of the better things about it but still i would prefer a custom launcher over the color os experience any day it supports full cam to api good luck finding a gcam port for this one wide one l1 is not supported on the smartphone and apart from that it does cover all of the basics like bluetooth 5.0 this fm radio it has a 4230 mh battery which would last you really long face unlock as well as fingerprint unlock work flawlessly on the smartphone and if you're somebody who's going to use the smartphone for your normal day-to-day -day needs you will like it it retails for a price of around 9990 for the 32 GB storage variant and if you're somebody who's just going out there to buy a decent budget smartphone this would be one of your picks i won't recommend this smartphone as such for anybody who has an anti-china sentiment this smartphone is only meant for those people who are on a strict budget and they really need to go out there and buy something which would work for them personally i would say that as a reviewer it's my job to tell you what's good what's not and I did so. What you buy at the end of the day is your choice. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to Inspire to Rise for more awesome tech videos like this one. And guys, no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.